Okay, so the last one, this last question for this podcast, it's going to be first congratulations. This is from Patti, by the way. Um, first, congratulations for making this podcast live. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. And as a part of the community, your effort is really appreciated because there are many average people or new to cryptocurrencies who are new to cryptocurrencies who need, need a clear understanding of technology that revolves around the community. Secondly, I have a few doubts slightly related to the mass adoption concept and a digital currency to become global. Is it possible for a currency to become global with other currencies existing parallel to it? If so, can ADA be one such currency? So I'd like to plead the fifth on this one as well, because this is an economist related question. So I'm on Sebastian's side. It's that whole idea of mass adoption. We don't know exactly what's going to happen, but please rest assured that Cardano is going to be, ADA is going to be interoperable with other currencies and it's going to be interoperable with maybe some fiat as well. So hopefully that partly answers your question in, in usability and access to it living within a parallel system between fiat and maybe other cryptocurrencies as well. Rick, did you want to answer? Uh, no, well, there's a few things I can add to that, uh, and that is you got to define what you think mass adoption actually means. Um, that right now, there, there really is no global currency except to say, well, the U.S. dollar is used as a benchmark, but... Uh, there are hundreds of currencies throughout the world. You know, every country that has a border has its own type of currency, um, except, you know, the EU recently went to the euro. Well, recently for me, maybe not you guys. But, uh, you know, we, we, we did an episode on mass adoption, and you got to define what you think mass adoption is. Uh, and I think the day that we are no longer discussing mass adoption and we're back to talking about what am, what am I going to purchase with my money, then mass adoption has occurred. It'll, it'll be transparent. All of a sudden, one day it'll be like, oh, well, we don't talk about mass adoption anymore because it's being used, I guess. That's my take on it. Yeah, I want to talk on the global part of it briefly. So I, I think we're already a global system right I, I i'm in japan both of you are in the us obviously we have a lot of people in europe different countries actually has people working for them in many countries they have stuff going on in africa and australia and argentina and if you look at where charles has been in the past year he's just all over the globe going to events uh, all across the world talking to people about cardano and really building a global movement and then also at Emergo, we're also uh, pushing very hard on this. So one of our goals is uh, to build a global Cardano. I think we've been doing a really great job of doing that, you know, talking to businesses in a bunch of different countries. We have our accelerator program in New York that's launching soon. And for our accelerator program and our fellowship program in New York, we're having people come in from all over the world to build on Cardano. Even just me, I've been to quite a few different countries since joining Emergo, always, you know, going to developer events while I'm there, uh, helping uh, build a global community, helping uh, build a developer ecosystem around Cardano. And so, so I would go as far as to say we're already a global system. We have reached in countries like I think people would not even imagine. Like, you know, the fact that Charles went to Mongolia and he met with, you know, people in the government in Mongolia and they're all passionate about working with Cardano. Like, most projects in the world cannot say, like, oh, yeah, like the Mongolia government and people in Mongolia are interested in our project. Like, usually that's, that's just not a thing, but we, we've reached this, like, global spread of our project. And we're still working on it, uh, both at IOSK and at Emergo. So I, I I'd say, you know, don't don't think this is like a a movement just in your country. This is not just the U.S. thing. It's not just the Japan thing. Uh, we are global companies working in a global market, uh, building a global system. Hey, thanks for that input there, Sebastian. And also, you probably noticed in your travels, uh, you you've went down to South America earlier this year too, didn't you? But um, when when you've travel and you use cash you have to convert your cash when i go to japan i got to get yen you go to another country you got to get the local currency with the plutus fest we had to get the local currencies there but when you use your visa card or your 
your credit card, it just works. So cryptocurrencies, if, if they're parallel to the credit card, if the technology is compatible, if you have an ADA card that you can use in South Korea, you could use that same ADA card in the U.S. And uh, mass adoption, one, or one other thing, one other note on mass adoption is if each person decides to use it as individuals and then it kind of percolates up. I don't think any big country is just going to say, you know what, we're going to, we're going to use ADA for doing business with other countries until the population of that country decides that they actually want to use it on an individual personal level.